Service. And if we had, service, and we if we had a goddamn this? clue about it, we could have answered those questions. <laughs> <laughs> we were winging it. It's a startup, right? Yeah, we, which means basically we wake up in the morning, we look in the mirror and say, how, how did we get here and what are we doing? Where's Jarvis? You know so, whose fault this is? It's Jeff Jarvis's fault. Of course, course that is. Jeff Jarvis, no, so here's what happens. Oh. Jeff does all this research over last summer. Jeff makes a list of the best internet TV shows he likes. He has this big list of shows he loves. Jeff Jarvis, at the last video on the net, says to Jeff, you know, if you really want to make that thing useful, you'd stick RSS on all that and you'd show people how to subscribe to their blogs, their video shows. Uh, and Jeff goes, okay. And he makes a startup out of this idea that maybe other people need to find the best stuff on the internet. And all hell breaks loose because it turns out that that's considered opt-out behavior and that people maybe didn't want to be you know, featured on a, on a site. Where we're not hosting content, we're not doing anything to say it's our show, we're just putting out pointers to find good shows. And we were misunderstood and all I really did in that point was I weathered the storm and said, but, we but, love you, we love you, but, we love but, you. But no, what we got criticized on was an email that we sent out to the people. Oh, yes. You remember? You were the, my, form, my form letter that I wrote by hand and copy-pasted by hand several hundred times. That's what you got um, railed yes. on. Yes. Because I, 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 I inappropriately uh, painted everyone with the same brush instead of spending the time to write an individualized email, which I just complained about, didn't I?